Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to the Dreadweight Demo, which is a sequel to Cooking Companions. And if you haven't seen or you don't remember Cooking Companions, that was a game where you cooked a wonderful meal of your friends. Mariah, Anatoly, Gregor, can you hear them? No. I don't remember their names. Didn't they die in natural causes? The opening lines were voice acted, by the way. I'm not sure if the full game is voice acted, we'll see. Or if it's just like one shots. Drowning. You cough, spraying potato in a fine mist. At least you're awake now. Sleepwalking again. Probably a horrific sight for bystanders. You ask Potato where you are. Northwest from the cabin. You ask Potato about the note on the wall. What note? Dearest, the name is smudged out. I know you've, you're still upset about Ivan. I'm asking the impossible. But please, forgive me and let's end this madness. We're different to lose track of time, to let feuds rot inside of us. Undying while the rest of the world moves on. This isn't healthy. It took me ages to learn this. I'm asking you, please, to let this one die. Sincerely. We need to repay him for Ivan. Remember. Maybe get a nice meal there, too. Patience. I'm sure I'll have guests as well. I have a surprise for you when we get there. You're going to love it. I promise. Oh boy. Oh my god, what is this? Now you on the left. Hmm. Could you be our previous, uh, uh, I don't want to go into too many spoilers, but a character from the previous game? Welcome to my mansion. It's in dire need of repairs, but I think you'll find that certain rooms are furnished and accommodating. You look like you're a VTuber. I'd like to introduce you to my business acquaintance, Renata. Nice to meet you. Your name was... It's, uh... Don't mind her, Renata. She's exhausted from traveling earlier. Isn't that right? Yeah, my headache is pounding. We'll get that treated immediately by our on-staff doctor, Dimitri. I think we have some medication that can help with that. Are you thirsty? You nod. Here's a cup of water. Try to stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. You quickly gulp down the water, feeling a little tickle in the back of your throat. I think I swallowed some hair. <laughs> uh, that was probably mine. S sorry. And last, but certainly not least, the world's biggest Sandman fan, Gisela. She's also a great bodyguard. See, you've been training with Solid Snake. But you know the basics of CQC. Nice to meet you. Sandman, at the children's show. Hey, kids and adults love that show. When the show is over, it's time for bed. You have a bodyguard? Your face? You're like, your upper face is like so anime. You're more anime than everyone else, but you're like, you're ready to fight a war here. Best security in the world. When your investments mature enough, you'll find that death threats start pouring in. Who would want you dead, aside from me? Old business partners, past lovers. I've been around long enough to keep making enemies. And don't worry. As long as I'm here, you are safe. We had someone break in last month. 
Scared everyone here. I wonder who that was. Gizella fractured his skull. The beam of death as he tried to crawl away. Why didn't you wait for the police? Don't you remember the boat ride earlier? Was that a Last of Us 2 reference? Oh no. This mansion is on an island. No way for anyone to reach us in time. I... Ah! Impeccable timing, Dimitri. Take one of these in the morning with some food. It will help the headache. Thank you. Have you experienced any negative symptoms since arriving? Nausea? Vomiting? They didn't puke the entire ride over. Those waters are awful this time of the year. That's a miracle. No, I think I'm fine. If you notice anything different or unpleasant, please don't hesitate to tell one of us. Thank you, Dimitri. I'll eat you last. Best doctor in the business. Please make yourself at home. We delight to have you here. My apologies. There's a phone upstairs that will ring until you pick up the receiver. Now, if you're a little confused, cooking at pants also started with a really cold mid-story start, and it's usually for a reason. Can you do me a favor and pick it up? Sure. Quest received. Stop the ringing. Thank you. Please don't mind the trash and uh, poles up there. Hey, everyone. I've probably seen messier. <laughs> yep, those bodies. You head upstairs to check out the phone. The ringing echoes down the hallway. There it is. Ooh, we actually like kind of zoom in and look at stuff now. Who could be calling at this hour? It's your conscious. It says kill them all. Answer it. Sure. Wrong number. You head back to the foyer. Why is there a... It's a Louis II duck here. <coughs> Who the hell are you? You tell him. Is that so? I'm Maximilian. Nice to meet you. Maxu Quacks, nice to meet you. <coughs> so what, did we have, like, eat someone recently? They're represented by duck? It's Maximilian! I'm not calling a talking duck Maximilian. Let's go of Maxon. How can you talk? That's a secret. Besides, the others won't believe you if you tell them. I've lived here for quite some time. And you know what? I'm sick of it. I just want to leave this mansion and go somewhere warm. The Asplay doesn't just fly off the island. What a dumb suggestion. Did you bump your head earlier? Kurt would annihilate me. Here's the, I have another theory about this too, but we'll get to that. He'd probably get his bodyguard to lock me in a birdcage. Or something worse. If you want to be useful, just open the box into my feet. It's been ages, so I can't remember how to unlock it. Just get it open. You ask why you'd help a desperate talking duck. Because I have a cool gift for you. Is it free? May this fortify our new friendship. You give her the sturdy rope. Hmm, that's useful. I use that for uh rope stuff. Add it to your inventory? Well, we have options of adding things to our inventory? Oh. Sure, why not? You add a sturdy rope to your inventory. Someone just told me that rope could keep witches at bay. Oops. But that's a rumor. In order to ward off witches, let this rope boil in the pot. With everything. Garlic, salt, forest herbs, wool, bat. This, this rope kinda sounds tasty. Stuck up the cellar. For months. The sturdy rope feels absolutely revolting. Pieces of burnt garlic cling to it. This reeks. I thought you spoiled it. So did I'm full of butter afterwards. Looking at burned garlic, I'm looking at a five-star rope. Why would I accept this? And why would I listen to a talking duck? Because we're quackers? Because I'm the smartest creature in this mansion. If you help me out, I'll tell you how to escape to safety. Why would I need to escape to safety? 
You'll see. The Quirky helped me. Quirky can leave this place. Later. So my thing was... So the fruits, the veggies and whatnot, the uh, veggie, you know, our chompettes, they, you know, are presented, let's just say, sins of, we're basically dead people. Without going into too much details. So maybe the duck represents the sin of, well, murder of someone here. I'm using this like vague terms, because I'm like, we don't quite fully know how all this stuff works. You wonder if what you saw just saw was real. Talking ducks shouldn't be brought up to anyone. You head back to the foyer. Hey everybody, I got some garlic rope. Anyone want some garlic rope to go with your garlic rolls? Thanks for taking care of that. Who called? Nobody. Wrong number? Hopefully someone isn't tapping the phone here. Haha. <laughs> Quest completed, stop the ringing. Again, welcome and please don't hesitate to make yourself at home. Now, if you excuse me, you need to take care of some paperwork. Later. Kurt goes up to the staircase, closing the door to his office. He's such an amazing person. He also kind of looked like a Steins Gate character. I mean, I'm talking about the girl on the left. Um, you know, um... Christina! Pays on time, too. Heh. <laughs> what do you think of him? He's messed up. What makes you say that? He seems a little hollow. Like an out-of-touch rich guy. Relax, Rana. She doesn't see what he's really like yet. What do you mean? He's charming and brilliant. You'll understand that it is an honor to be in the same room as him. Some heads of state have gone to great lengths to marry him. Coming across the world, on boat, risking shipwreck or death. What makes him so special? He just has a way of words. Could sell water to a whale. You think he could communicate with an animal? Only him. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, please, enjoy your stay here. Let us know if you have any questions, okay? Now, if you excuse me, I need to take care of some things. Later! The three head off in different directions, leaving you alone. What, who do you want to talk to? You. Kurisu. Hey. Feeling any better? You nod. Great. I got seasick the first time I traveled here. So I get it. <laughs> now that you got your sea legs, what's your name? You tell her. That's a beautiful name. Thanks. I also think Manly's a beautiful name. I'm sure you have plenty of questions. I'm an open book. Ask away. Tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? How'd you beat the others? I need time to recover after surviving in prison, so Kurt brought me here. Ha! Huh. Met Dimitri first, then Gisela was hired about a year later. Why'd Kurt hire you? Because I'm the best accountant around. With so many eyes on transactions and transit, he needed to hire someone he could completely trust. So you're good at math? Yes, try me. Hmm. What's 10 minus 6 plus 2 divided by 3? 2. Wow. Told you. And what are you good at? Talking over video games. Getting in places I shouldn't be. Intriguing. Well, I got just a thing for you then. I'm listening. Here's some things you can cut cords. I'm no electrician, but I heard Kurt talking about some faulty wire straining power. You found the wire cutter. And what's just give me items? What's the downside to, to taking items? If you more questions. No problem. Tell me more about Kurt. He's brilliant. He's extremely adverse to investment risks. Always picking slow, steady growth over big gambles. Paid off the police to leave his mansion alone, so he's able to travel freely without harassment. Holds a degree in chemistry, but pretty much dabbles in anything he's curious about. He built this mansion years ago, but as you can see, wasn't the best to keep it clean or orderly. Why is he so bad at cleaning it? He became obsessed with research. 
locked himself in the basement for months, only coming up to eat breakfast every morning. His experiments got more reckless as time progressed. I wasn't here when it happened, but the large holes are a result of that. What kind of experiments? I have no idea. I asked him once and he told me, flustered, that was too complicated to explain. Why didn't he patch up the large holes? Well, he stopped sealing them up when it became obvious that the materials would take too long to arrive by boat. And as his business partner, you didn't help him with that? It wasn't worth the return on investment. Besides, my background is accounting, not getting carpentry supplies. Fair enough. What's up with Dimitri? Like Kurt, he's obsessed with research. They've been working on something for years now. No clue if they explain it coherently. I've never seen him listen to music or read for leisure. He's just constantly reading medical journals and white papers. Obsessed. Way more Magizella. She was born in the wrong time. What do you mean? She would have been a bear warlord or barbarian. Always wanted to fight hand to hand, even with people aiming guns at her. She's a force of nature, but really? She's sweet underneath. Absolutely obsessed with that Sandman show, though. I've seen it before. Pretty cute. Yeah. Thankfully, Kurt doesn't have any televisions in the mansion. That's okay, no questions. If you can, just let me know. What was that noise? Sounds like it was coming from the foyer. Let's check it out. You follow Renata to the foyer. Someone dead? Finally. This is a spot. We gotta find out more about Potato. It's time to punish him for what he did to you with Ivan. You grip the knife so tightly to your, your hands begin to shake. Once everything is finished, we'll have a big meal to celebrate. I don't need to tell you how difficult this will be. Do not disappoint me. I have a surprise for you. Close your eye. I... So what is it? Hope? No, this is terror. John Betts. Speak up. Always fear. Onion is near. Like Hornbread used to say, I'm dying to meet him. Always wary. Raspberry. Are they real? Listen, I know this might be a little bit of a shock. But, there's been a few changes to the group. I like them, I think they're an improvement. I am now leader of the Chombats. You asked Potato how that happened. Notice the light went out on uh, Cabbage's eyes. We had an election. Cabbage versus me. He, he ran us with a knife! He terrifies me, I'm sorry. It was three votes against two. I'm sorry, Chompettes. As leader of the Chompettes, it's important we all help her out at the mansion. The games are over. It's time to slaughter everyone that has wronged us. You ask Cabbage what she thinks about this direction. The leader dictates our position with you. You ask Potato when the next election is. The next election occurs. One thousand years from now. It will be a miracle. If you survive that long. One thousand years. Your brain has become softer, more full of holes. Like a molding sponge. It's important that it absorbs the right kind of material. I've brought them back to help guide you in the right direction. Notice see the throwback UI too. You ask how? That's my secret. I'll make you a deal. If you kill everyone in the mansion, I'll get them to leave you alone again. But if you fail, we'll get to play ghosts in the graveyard. Forever! Your stench will reach new heights. We can memorize a thousand of Corbett pun jokes. Oh! Is that a fair trade? Do not. Excellent. Quest completed. Food focus. This was a quest? He's as bony as you. So this should be an easy one. Let's fry them first. That usually leads to mistakes being made. 
Once they're in a state of panic, we can pick them off. One by one. Till only he's left. Then no wonder looked really bony. So is there a fifth actor here? You nod. No use going after him right away. He'll tell us where it is. Just need to take care of the others. She smashed the front door locks. Probably using her bare hands. She's going to kill all of us. She broke through multiple deadbolts. Yeah, our protag was actually super strong. I remember that now. The day has finally come. I'm ready. Let her in here. No. That isn't going to work. Oh no, it's not us. Oh. Well, no, it could still be us, but you know. We're acting ignorant. I feel like I'm on the loop here. Who is she? She goes by many names. Oh, no! I get it now. Okay. So the protag we're playing is the one that our previous protag from Cooking Companions is hunting. I, th I think that's what's going down. Maybe. We'll see. I could be wrong. You know, there's, there's some weird perspective stuff going on here. I could be overthinking it. Which crone. Bony knees. But her real name is Baba Yaga. Many countries refuse to publish stories about her out of fear retribution, but she's very real. An ancient witch with an unsatiable appetite. She used to just lure victims to her cabin, ultimately devouring them. But something changed. Decades ago, she left her cabin, like the old days, slaughtering everyone in her path. The ending of Cooking Companions. Or that was the beginning, it was one of two. The first city she terrorized was Zakopane in Poland. It was... horrific. She broke down doors of her bare hands, clawing her way inside homes and businesses. It rained for a hundred days after she arrived at the city, turning the city into an inhabitable wetland. So, that was another thing cooking companions. Our, our protag could basically make it rain, which trapped people in the cabin. Any survivors that attempted to escape were hunted down. Only a handful of people remained by the end. The massacre is known as uh, Summer of Rain in Poland. I had a few weapons around the house in case something like this happened. There's some useful items in the upstairs hallway. I think you should check there first. Afterwards, you can decide on which weapons to find. Just in case you need to open something, here's a bolt cutter. Why do you have a bolt cutter laying around? Not a fan of Janes or locks. Got bolt cutter. Yeah, the bolt cutter to inventory. Smart. Uh, please avoid cutting any padlocks you find indoors. You hiding something? No. I, I can't remember the location, but it wouldn't want you wandering in any areas that could be deadly. Deadly? Areas with holes. Toxic gases. Crumbling ceilings. Sounds like you really need to repair this dump. <laughs> You're right. Kurt, I think we should fortify the mansion. That's a great idea, Gisela. Can you help her with that? Of course. Thank you. You follow Gisela to the windows. Take her right at the end of the hallway. Can you answer that first? On it. Now, if Potato picks up at the end, then I know... There it is. Then I know that we're just a protag playing dumb. I'm trying to determine if there's two witches or two witch-like characters going on here. Answer it? Yes. Wrong number. Hey. That was a bun. There's a talking rabbit too. Oh yeah. Oh, Porky Pig next? Yes. My name is Clover. I take it you've met my associate, Max. Well, intentioned, but unfortunately his focus is misguided. You ask Clover what she means. He seems eager to jump at every request Kurt makes. I'm sorry to say, but you have no chance of defeating Baba Yaga. 
She may be agent, but even working together, we will never be able to stop her wrath. So they're bringing the bad news. However, we're only standing in the way of her goal, Kurt. It means she'll spare us. If Kurt is killed. Yeah, so we are playing a different pro, pro, pro tag. Okay. Because these things would have like identified as like, hey, you're the Baba Yaga. Or something. But I don't know. Like I said, there could be weird perspective stuff. We'll see. Kazira done. Excellent. You need to first get rid of Gizala, which is no easy task. I recommend using her as paid for Baba Yaga. Or waiting for a good opportunity. Be warned. Your weapons like guns won't work against her. She's far too fast. You'll be disarmed immediately. Once Gizella's gone, you can hide while Baba Yaga finishes him, or take care of Kurt yourself. I'll tell you how to get off of this island, if you help me out. Understood? You nod. Wonderful! Sorry to drop this on you so quickly. As you'll find out soon, most people that make it to this mansion don't live long. So I want to make my case early. Here, take this. You found the tarnished pendant. Inventory's getting kind of fat. Huh. Gizela's gonna wonder where you are. Go up it for now. <laughs> Later. Might be best not tell anyone about the talking duck and rabbit. Get over to Gizela. Big. Hey. I figured nailing up the windows would prevent her from getting in easier. But I'm almost out of nails. There's a buck in the cellar. Can you go grab some? Yeah, sure. After I save. Yes. Awesome. Don't get lost, okay? I won't. You head downstairs to get the nails. Nails must be around here somewhere. Ah, there they are. Sounds like a fuse was blown. Get the bucket of nails. You go back upstairs to Gisela. Welcome back. Got something for me? Why do I have a beating heart? You give Gisela the nails. Lifesaver, thank you. Looks like Gisela will remember that. Oh, yeah, we got the heart stuff again. No problem. But I think the fuse box is having issues. We'll fix that later. Thanks for letting me know. Of course. I found this in the same spot as the hammer. Do you want it? Okay, so we actually is a uh, inventory cap, it looks like. Go to finish with these boards. You go meet up with the others. You have to go to the foyer. She's here. I can hear her creeping around. I'll stay here in the foyer of Gisela. There's some weapons hidden in the cellar and upstairs. Please assist either Renan or Dimitri in finding one. Not Dimitri. Yes, it's Sounds good. Come with me. Get upstairs with Renata. Alright. Let's see. He usually keeps another gun under one of these pillows. It's gone. Maybe Kurt took it and I forgot. Or maybe Baba Yaga took it when he wasn't looking. That's possible, but the balcony windows are locked. Let's get back to the foyer. Right. You cautiously head back downstairs, <laughs> listening closely for any of... Any other noises. Kurt! What was that noise? I... Dimitri is dead. Well, that was fast. Dimitri sucked anyways. What? We found some blood by one of the crates, but can't find the body. 
Maybe Dimitri has the same idea of killing Kurt. We saw him go downstairs. And as you know, there's not much room down there. She must have stabbed him and hit the body somewhere. Besides the staircase, are there any exits she could have used? Yes. This place is falling apart, so there's unintended ways to move throughout it. So, she could be lurking anywhere. When Baba Yaga is around, it's important to act quickly. Yeah, so this confirms that it is a separate entity. So, Baba Yaga's UI, we know we're playing her if we see the Cooking Companion's UI. In this other pro tag, it's this UI. When Baba Yaga around, it's important to act quickly and wisely. Being decisive may result in your death, or something far worse. I'm gonna save my game. There's something moving down there. Is it money? Money could be moving down there. Or a jump scare, possibly. I prefer money. A cold wind blows up through the hole. Something is approaching. She's messing with the power. Madonna, Gisela, I need you here. You can go downstairs and try taking of the fuse box. Me, alone? I can't afford to lose Renata, and Gazella's my only protection. Try your best and yell upstairs if she shows up, okay? Don't worry, I'll run down if you make any noises. Noise. Besides, she's slow. You can outrun an elderly woman, right? No, she isn't! She is Sonic the Hedgehog! You nod. I don't agree with that assessment, but thank you. Be quick on your feet. We don't have a weapon. Run. Oh, forgot to give this to you. Found this fuse in the closet. I bought a bunch of them. The fuse box burns through them pretty quickly. Now we get to drop an item. Yeah, okay. So this is gonna be uh, a pretty interesting. They they have gone more adventure gamey. Even more so. It makes me actually kind of think of, uh, you know, the Zero Escape series. So I think keep the items that the uh, Neo Chompettes gave us. Something else should be discarded. Maybe the wrench. Hmm. Because the other two are, like, for cutting. And isn't this one, like, this one right here is meant, like, oh, she was like, oh, you might have to cut some wires later. You've permanently destroyed the wrench. Oh, yeah, okay. We just, we just smashed that thing over our knees, just like, I don't need these wrenches anymore. Bam. You had a fuse to your inventory. You head downstairs to fix the power. So they've done a thing where you couldn't make a terrible decision to destroy something early on that uh, couldn't really mess you up later. They were right. The generator has turned silent. Hello. Looks like there's something wrong with the fuse box. Spirits get more aggressive in the darkness. If the problem in front of you isn't solved in a timely manner, there will be dire consequences. My heart. How do I? What happens if I fail? How do I fail? Fits perfectly. Hello? Oh.
I offer you one dread weight. You give me one to get star donation. Four endings. Four ghost attacks. Did you find everything? I will. <laughs> Tutorial. The game will not end when attacked. You struggle to no progress, no frustrating game over screens or roadblocks. Players that encounter spirits will be rewarded with additional story and character backgrounds. Wishlist are back to Kickstarter. We enjoy the Dreadweight demo. All right, we're going to go back in and look more more stuff. It'll depend up to the fuse box. Nothing happened. Hello? Oh, I can attack from below. So let's go with Dimitri. I was hoping you'd help me out. The basement's pretty scary, but no one will be with you. You head downstairs with Dimitri. Now, when we got the death sequence, our, our voice did sound pretty young compared to like the Baba Yaga, so it sounds like we are a young woman. Um, you know, I wonder if we're, uh, maybe we were the, a character from the previous games. Let's see. I think he hit something behind one of these crates. Rats. Kurt must have moved it. Or Baba Yaga took it. You think so? If she gets rid of all the weapons, we have nothing to defend ourselves with. Eek. At least Gisela doesn't need any weapons, haha. <laughs> Two tickets to the gun show. You think she'll win against an ancient witch? I, uh... I guess I never met an ancient witch before, haha. <laughs> Sounds like it was coming from upstairs. Let's go check it out. Yes, yeah, so whoever you didn't go with died. Kurt, what was that noise? I, Dimitri, Banana's dead. What? We found some blood near the bedroom. We can't find her corpse. She must have stabbed her in the body somewhere. Besides the staircase, are there any exits she could have used? Yes. This place is falling apart, so it's unintended ways to move throughout it. So, she could be lurking anywhere. I'm gonna kind of just go for this. I think there's a spare fuse in the closet upstairs. Can you go grab it? You'll need to repair the fuse box. Dimitri, you coming with? Uh, I can't afford to lose him. And Gisela's my only protection. Try your best and yell down if she shows up, okay? Don't worry, I'll run up if you hear you. No, you won't. Besides, she's slow. You can't run in. Yeah, look, it's literally the same dialogue. Please ignore Dimitri. She's extremely fast for her age. I run a five minute mile. Is she that fast? Much faster. Good luck. We have upstairs to find the fuse. So before we got the fuse, right? And we were able to put the thing the fuse in, and then we died. This is when we actually have to get the fuse, and we we're gonna die before we even get down there. Let's see here. They can act swiftly to avoid a confrontation. Need nine for the fuse box. Oh, it's a searching one. Interesting. The other one was an item one. Yes. You stop searching the closet. This is probably just gonna give us a death. Oh no! Welcome back. Did you find anything? Not really. Oh well. So you can fix the fuse box with what you have, okay? I'll do my best. Interesting. It's a little bit longer because of that. Yeah, right. The generator has turned sound. Time to get to work. Hello? Someone there. Ow, oh, my face. Um, let's look around. Got a dead mouse. Found a screwdriver. On the sun key. What are so many items in here? What? Is there this fuel up here? Oh my 
do with all this stuff? Yvonne, note. She'll be here in about a week. You forget about this, but keep reading. You need to fortify the house, seal every opening in the floor, chimney and windows. She could pry wooden boards apart with a small enough gap. You have enough wood planks and nails. Use them. There's a carpenter giving me time estimate for the work for your mansion. A week of dawn of dust shifts. You'll need to get everyone to pitch in. Hello? We're dead. It's gonna be a sunshine day. Yay. Dead mouse. Gross. Rusty key. She's been sending letters again, scientists, politicians, and police. You know how bad it got a few decades ago. She will follow you to the ends of the earth. Be prepared and put a stop to her. Not for me. For everyone. A lot of lore in this room. Strange. Box filled with ashes. This is garbage. Why is Kurt hoarding this? There's a book here. You open the book to a bookmark page. One may in truth proceed against such a man against a person who is greatly suspect. Please not be condemned in the absence of out of hearing. If the suspicion may be very grave, you cannot refrain from suspecting these people, for their frivolous assertions do certainly seem to fit the purity of the faith. The frequent suspicion, the light suspicion, a serious suspicion, a grave suspicion. And then we die. Gonna be a sunshiny day. Alright, let's search the drawers. It's empty, like my soul. The lighter. Actually, yes! Wooden rabbit. It's solid wood. Yeah, I had some clothes immediately forgetting the location. See, we, we literally are just destroying items. Molding hardtack, Kurt. Yes? How old is this hardtack? How do you know what a hardtack is? My grandma used to make it. Is that so? We'll have to cook some on Sunday. Sure. You are getting pretty hungry. Eat it. You take a big bite of the moldy hardtack fuzz first. You accidentally swallow it. It was like a fuzzy caterpillar crawling down your esophagus. Oh, we didn't die. We died of this, so. Take a big bite of the moldy heart attack. I gotta go through your fast and ghost doesn't kill me. Take another bite. Feels like you chipped a tube from the heart attack, but you managed to break it apart. Teeth are grinding to nubs chewing this. Are you okay? Don't know. Bearing you close to the oak tree in the property. Kurt Ockley tried to give you eulogy and proper funeral. He was asked why you were buried in an unmarked grave. Kurt was brutally honest. She died by eating a molding hardtack found in a drawer. Everyone in attendance gets sick to their stomachs. The story of death is ridiculed for generations. The end. Oh, hi guys. What's up? The forest completely empty. Where are they hiding? Found you. You asked Potato where everyone is. You don't remember. The long speech. Anything. You shake your head. Your memory is getting worse. We should probably leave. That was a close call earlier. Don't want to repeat. Thanks for playing. No. You crush a pen in your hand. Something shattered inside. That? 
had something important in it. Yeah? What could possibly be important in an old pendant? A photograph? Film? It can't be undone. The quicker we forget about, the better. Right. Hmm. You crack the bolt cutters in half, tossing each side to the ground. I, uh... That was my only bolt cutter. It's fine, I'll adapt. Uh... Suit yourself. Let's talk to the other characters. Gisela? Hey. Welcome to the cellar. Watch your step. Quite the collection. How old are the bottles? Ancient. Kurt doesn't drink, so he just sits here until he needs to sell a bottle. They're expensive. Some balls could buy this mansion. Not fix up the damage, though. That stuff is permanent. Got any questions about the manor? I know this place like the back of my hand. Do you like being a bodyguard? Hell yes. Except for the last intruder we had. He... I, uh... Do you want the clean version or the real one? Real version. Took Dimitri five hours to get the bloodstains out later. Some prefer to use guns or knives. But I'll always prefer using my bare hands. Let's clean up, and it's... Sort of fun to see their eyes filled with fear and panic. Crush the guy's head like a grape. That's sick. Don't yuck my yum. It's not for everyone, but a job is a job. Nobody talks to me about wet work. You may think it's gross. I think it's very sweet to ask. I'm paid to protect Kurt, but let me be your extra security here. Okay? Sure. It looks like Gazella will remember that. Oh, okay. Do you see the hole in your right? Exposed electrical cords. Not secure. Ten point buck. Nice. Wow, you did that? Smashed the guy right for the brick wall. Thankfully the cleanup wasn't too bad. Made Dimitri pull out the body though. I'm afraid of spiders, they didn't want to take any chances. Oh. Found this behind one of the crates. Do you want it? On a switch? Oh. Why is the mansion so damaged? There was a series of accidents here that caused the house to become damaged and open to the elements. Kurt didn't have the money to repair antique wood floors or broken walls, so unfortunately the manor is decaying. Doesn't he have the money to just bulldoze it and start another mansion? No. Kurt is only here a few months per year, so he probably would view that as a huge waste of money. I think he just wants to focus on his experiments. Hmm, well does Kurt, he pays the bills? Now he's in charge of getting a mansion stock of food during visits, along with important business deals. Dimitri's a complete nerd, but he's really good at getting bloodstains out of things. That's it? Kurt doesn't pay me to keep tabs on staff, sorry. No, I mean Dimitri. He's only good at getting bloodstains out of things? Pretty much. Putting that chemistry back on the work. Gisela. Alright, skip an hand. Talk to Dimitri. Where did he go? In the upstairs hallway! Get upstairs. Hey! Want to thank you again for coming with us. No problem, D it's Dimitri. Dimitri, I'm so sorry. Don't worry. Not a very common name here, huh? <laughs> How long have you been a doctor? Let's see. About 12 years? It was like yesterday. How'd you get a license that early? Hard work. Or lies. And nepotism. Huh. This is messing with you, haha. <laughs> I really love working here. I need to do small talk with patients. Just working with Kurt until someone here is injured. Got any other questions for me? Oh, I see they put the wrong name there. Where are you from? My parents came from the east. That's cool. I wish you were still around to see how far I've come. Oh well. They're coming back once you're cremated. What's in my paperwork, doctor? Let's see here, uh... Healthy lungs, good eyesight. Oh, my. It's a little disturbing. What's wrong? 
It's, uh... Your heart rate seems to be fast for your age. You don't know about that? You shake your head. Uh... That's bad. I've limited any physical activity like jogging or hiking. Avoid horror books, hehe, <laughs> as well. Wouldn't want your heart beating off your chest. Is there any way to improve it? Eating healthier and light exercise. Please let me know if you feel faint. Alright? Sure. I know. Health issues pop up from time to time. But at least caught this early. We'll work on both of those things during your stay here. You nod in agreement. That's a spirit. Looks like Dimitri will remember that. How old are you? I'm 30. How old did you think I was? Uh, it's fine. Get all the time, haha. <laughs> Thankfully I don't have to see any new patients here. So no awkward questions or wasted time with small talk. Just helping curve the research. I'll tell you if you've got any symptoms later. Sounds good. Got any other questions? Great. Thanks for checking up on me, haha. <laughs> if you experience any sort of illness, please seek me out first. No use wearing curd in the others. Oh, come with me quick. Wanted to give you something. So what's anime you give me? Let's see. I thought it was in this drawer. Ah, here it is. Got the doctor's note. No. I just want to see the reaction. That was for Rena. Yeah? Yeah. No passing notes, just speak with her if you need to say something. Okay. Let's go back. Can you give that to Renata? You nod. Thank you. Quest received passing notes. You hit over Renata. Hello. Give Renata the note? Yes. Got something for you. You had Renata the doctor's note. Hmm. Do you know what this is? I didn't open it. Just messing with you, haha. <laughs> this is a list of foods to purchase. Pasta with tomato sauce, carrot soup. Dimitri only likes mild food. Nothing spicy. His loss, more for us. <laughs> Thank you, I'll get this in. Quest completed, passing notes. Try to convince him to try foods of a little more variety later, okay? I know the perfect chomp pets to eat. I don't think I can cure a picky eater. Just make fun of him. That usually does a trick. Sounds like it's coming from the foyer. Let's go check it out. Talk to Kurt. You try to retrace Kurt's steps upstairs. Kurt? Where room are you in? First door on the left! You open the door slowly. Greetings. Yeah, I had some questions for you. Is this never interrogation? Ask away. How could you afford this mansion? Investments in accrued interest. I learned, early on, that it was crucial to establish funds needed to do what I wanted to do. What job pays so well? What do you want to do? I've selected each of you to help study and further my research. We don't have for a quick decision making. To be true for his genius. Gisela for her raw strength. And you. You've shown incredible courage. Which is rare nowadays. Courage? Don't be humble. Yes. Don't you remember? Not really. That's okay. The meet you will have a prescription for that. <laughs> Got any other questions for me? Bored rich guy, nice. Guilty. What job pays so well? It's a blend of talents I've acquired over time. Some colleagues think of me as a scientist. Yes, let's go with scientists to simplify things. Got any other questions for me? I've already told you, advance our pursuit of science. Pursuit of science? Which science? A mix of chemistry and biology. How do we help with the research in that? I, uh... Looks like Kurt doesn't have an answer for you. It's complicated. 
but each of you are needed to test different scenarios. Which scenarios? Well, uh... If someone could get rid of spirits in the mansion... Spirits? You believe there's ghosts in the mansion? Uh... Maybe not ghosts. Quack. But something like that. There's no such thing as ghosts. <laughs> Maybe you're right. <laughs> you're pretty courageous. So you shouldn't have any issues with them. Looks like I picked correctly. You have the courage to challenge my superstitions. <laughs> Looks like Kurt will remember that. Yeah, that's right. Talk back to rich boy. Raise them hearts. What do you want to do? I told you already. Kurt's getting pissed. Why is the mansion so damaged? I'm afraid I couldn't find anyone to keep up the routine maintenance. I used to only come here during the summers, but it's obviously needs more upkeep than expected. Why couldn't you hire someone to maintain it? Well, I don't have any living spaces ready for a full-time staff. Do you have any other questions? Fantastic. Let me know what you think of any. What was that? Sounds like it was coming from the foyer. So you're the only one that doesn't give an item. So let's use a switch. No, no full switch yet. Add the fuse. Use this. Now for the switch. The generator hum is oddly comforting. And we're alive. Hello? Where are we? You can barely make out light in the distance. You slowly make your way through the dark hallway. Stairs. You begin your descent. Something is approaching. The Dreadway Kickstarter is approaching! Sorry for making the solution vague, I want players to see the ghosts in game trailer. I'm sure you have a few questions by the end of the demo. You have all the puzzle pieces you need. Solve the mystery ahead of time or play the full game for more. Hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, night. Hang in there and make someone's day better. Please wish us for back to Kickstarter if you enjoyed the Dreadway demo. Do you wish to continue? No. The floor is completely empty. Where are they hiding? Found you. You guys tell where everyone is. You don't remember? The long speech anything? You shake your head. Your memory's getting worse. We should probably leave. That was a close call earlier. Don't want to repeat. No. What's this? The floor is completely empty. You're getting hungry again. Found you. You ask Patel where everyone is. You remember? Your memory's getting worse. You should go to the hallway, okay? A little bit different that time. No. The floor is completely empty. You're getting hungry again. Found you. You ask Potato where everyone is. Your luck seems to be awful with hallways. Right. No. You're drenched in cold sweat. You ask Potato where everyone is. You were laughing about the hallway. For over five minutes. You shake your head. No turning back now. Thanks for playing. No. The hallway temperature is below freezing. Potato? Someone there. Duck! Wee! What was that? So, that's it for the Dreadweight demo. So it looks like we're going more towards a... It makes me think of Yumi Neko. You're trapped in the mansion and there's like witches or things like that. Um, and maybe a murder mystery. It is different from Cooking Companions. It's actually been upgraded gameplay-wise a little bit. 
but um, even just atmosphere wise it's a little bit different which is good so we don't just necessarily rehash things uh I i'm curious if the story is going to end and be solved in this one and there's gonna be a true conclusion um obviously we're probably gonna get some more information on potato on the uh, nature of this Baba Yaga, if they are literally the Baba Yaga or not. And they're keeping our pro tag, not the Baba Yaga one, but our playable one, pretty hidden. So there could be another, you know, another twist coming up of that one. We'll see. But aside from that, I don't want to speculate too much on the storyline outside of the what I just said, because we obviously need more to kind of bite onto to uh, figure out where things are going. But I like the original Cooking Companions. Obviously, it was popular. It did, it did fairly well in the channel, and I think even game sales-wise and everything, it did pretty well, so other people did like it. And I look forward to uh, more Cooking Companions, or in this case, Dread Weight. It looks like they're having a Kickstarter going on. Original Cooking Companions also had a Kickstarter. So check the links down in the description, or even my pinned comment if you uh, want to go check that out. But anyway, so thank you all for watching play the Dread Weight demo. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.